Ah, the music. Doesn't it's, that music get you, it gets you so ready. excited? You want to stand like this. To stand the very tall. Yes. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Folks, we are 100 days from the Olympic Summer Games in Paris. So we want to know this morning, what is your favorite go-to mm. event? Yes. Do you have there? a favorite? Um, I do enjoy gymnastics. I do, Me too. Um, but I enjoy the swimming. I, honestly, I, I enjoy all of it. Uh, Summer has so many great. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they have a bunch of new ones this year too, like break, break dancing, dancing I'm and looking forward to that. Was surfing one of them? Yeah. Surfing yeah. one. That's so yeah. cool. Um, you know, Ben and I were super excited about today being mm -hmm. the 100 we days. So we took a little field trip Ooh. to Amelie's. Ooh. You know, we love Amelie's French yep. Bakery. Yep. Yep. I got some little pastries we get in the spirit, and treats. The, the spirit of the games. Get and French. We really we wanted to practice our our French. Yeah, take a look. Hey, Frenchie. Yes? Get excited. We are only 100 days out to the Olympics. I can't wait. Okay, so have you started practicing your French? Yes, I've been practicing a lot. All right, let's start simple. How do you say yes? Oui. Okay, oui. That's good. All right, something a little tougher. Okay. How about, how do you say thank you? Mercy. Uh, it's not mercy. No. It's more like merci. Merci. Okay, that's better. Okay, so this next one's important because we wake up really early. How do you say good morning? Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> well done. All right, three phrases down, only about 100 to go. Well, my name is French, so I should be better at this. 100 Days the Olympics, right here on WCNC Charlotte. Yeah, that was awesome. Why didn't I take French yeah, yeah, yeah. in high school? Yeah, I should have. Why do Sandy. you sound like Julia Child? I know, because I've watched that movie probably. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the HBO yeah, series, right. too. Yeah, that's, that's really that's good. Right. Uh, so, again, we're counting down to the Olympics. A uh, hundred days away. Uh, we're asking you what's your favorite event. Let us know. We'll talk about that coming up in a few minutes. Yeah, and, well, we are noticeably missing a yes. couple of our teammates here. I'm standing here. in somebody's spots. But, yes, you are. Uh, Larry Sprinkle, uh, one Charlotte Mecklenburg school has a special tie to the games. And Larry Sprinkle went out to Olympic High School in Southwest Perfect. Charlotte, where folks are getting real excited today. This is Olympic Stadium, uh, not Olympic Stadium Paris, but Olympic Stadium at Olympic High School in Charlotte, North Carolina. And we got all the athletes here. How are you feeling this morning? <laughs> Casey Jones, a principal, and Stephanie Wilkerson, the athletic director. An exciting time, 100 days out to the Olympics, and this is such a great school, known for so many things. What are a couple of big superlatives here? I'll give you two out of the many. Um, first of all, we have five CTE that are um, academies that are distinguished. In addition, we have one of the few robotics program in the state that's pretty much nationally recognized as well. That is fantastic, and also nationally recognized and regionally recognized, the athletic program. And you got some champion athletes here. Yes, our wrestling program, they're six-time conference champions. And then our women's track program, they just won a state runner-up um, an indoor track, and we're looking for them to bring home the title in Atdoor this year. That's fantastic. Uh, every one of all of you are athletes right here and uh, uh, future Olympians right here at Olympic High School. How apropos is that? It's such a great school and a great turnout today. And we're getting ready. The countdown 100 days out to the Olympics in Paris, France. So. Is everybody ready? One, two, three. USA! 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 And macaroons USA, for everybody. USA, Have a USA, macaroon, everybody. Get a macaroon. There you go. Jump right in. Get a macaroon. Macaroons from Paris. Gay Paris. Yes. There you go. Everybody gets at least one, if not a couple. All right. There you go. Have one. The macaroons to celebrate the Olympics on WCNC Charlotte and NBC Charlotte. Oh, yeah. Uh, back to you guys. So from Amelie's Bakery. But you know what's funny? We had that conversation about how technically uh, macaroons are the ones with the coconut and what macarons. Macarons. Yeah. It's like, are, like yeah. think about the French president, Emmanuel Macron. Oh. Macron. Oh. Ben, you're so, did you take French? No. <laughs> yeah, you, you sound great, though, Macron. Um, okay, sorry. Yes, uh, pull up those comments. There we go. This is what some of you said this morning that you were looking forward to. A lot of people saying gymnastics, someone else uh, saying equestrian events. You know, we got horse country around here yeah. in Waxhaw. Um, Olympic boxing, Simone Biles. Yeah, a lot of people so excited to see Simone come back and really want her to yeah. just, you know, oh, absolutely. take her crown. I'll be honest. I, I like it, it, I sound like a wimp saying this, but like, 
watching gymnastics like puts me on the edge of my seat. Like, oh, I have oh, to, oh. I, I especially have to, like, the beam, I, like, I right? have to walk, I, like, I have to like, oh. look away from it because it just makes me like a pile of nerves. Oh, the vault um, is amazing. Do you remember it's crazy um, what they do. Allie Raisman when she was in yep. the Olympics and they kept showing her parents because they almost were like forcing their body Gosh. to like willing her to like stick whatever she was doing. I know. It was so it fun. Um, Joy Mott chiming in saying I love gymnastics as well. And our digital team is going to put in the comments too. Um, you know, speaking of 100 days out and the Olympic torch being lit and it's about to be, and you Larry. know, carried yep. back in 2001, right? Larry so, yeah. got yeah. to carry the torch here as it went through Charlotte on its way to Atlanta. And we showed the video of him and his hair bouncing is almost like slow motion right. Baywatch. It's yes. incredible. Such great hair. No, it really is he, he deserves a gold medal for just for that. Yeah, yeah. so that, that's... Uh, the and we mentioned uh, the, the new events. I'm especially excited for surfing because I think it's so cool when you have a new oh, event. Because yeah. think about it. You win the first bronze, silver, and gold yeah. of that category. Oh, wow. Yeah. I didn't think about yep. that. And uh, I'm, I'm always a uh, big basketball of Team USA yeah. that gets going there. So, yeah, the, the, there's too many. And also, physically look at the list of events you forget. But I have to give a shout out to my favorite, race walking. Oh. Oh, my gosh. I had a friend in high school whose dad did a bunch of the, not in the Olympics, but it was always just, you know, well, at the track. It, it, it's all about form, too. So, <laughs> so you go heel toe, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Where, uh, yep. fun fact of one of our own, uh, Megan Bragg actually did that competitively at one point back in high school. What? Yes. She did that. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. If you ever I see her around, never... ask her to do it. She's fantastic. She says my form is not great. She but... needs to do it in the newsroom today. I mm -hmm. had no idea. Um, real quick, John Kelly chiming in saying gymnastics in track and field. So keep commenting below. Let us know what you are looking forward to uh, this summer. And, I mean, the countdown is going to continue countdown's right on. here. That means tomorrow is 99 days out. I know. That's Ooh. the way it works. <laughs> That's that, 98. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, we'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Bye, everybody.